Sam's, it's Sam. So I'm gonna do my Sunday sizzles and fizzles today. Let's just get started right away. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is this Shaney Mini Masterpiece Makeup Kit. I've had this for a few weeks now and I've been giving it a good try out. Um, basically what it is is like, uh, it's like this little box and it's magnetic. You have inside, you have six trays of different kinds of makeup. So the first thing you get is a concealer. So you get like all these concealers. And then the next one you get is a palette of foundations. They're cream foundations. They are actually more like a cream to powder. Like they're not super duper greasy. I was expecting them to be like a really creamy, like oily formula, formula and they're not at all. Full, full coverage, gives you that really flawless face. It's not gonna be super duper oily or greasy or anything. Um, so I actually did really like the, the foundation. Then you get like a layer of powders. So you have the, uh, the white one, which I used for like setting underneath my eyes. You've got a contour, which I used today to contour with. And then you've got your powders for like setting powders. They all come with like a little, it's just like a little tray. And then you get like a little plastic case that you can kind of flip on top. My favorite part, which is why they are in my Sunday Sizzles and Fizzles, is because they come with three layers of blush. And that is what my sizzle is. I am obsessed with these three layers of blush. So the first one, the one that I've been wearing the most, has been the top, well, I put it on the top of the blushes, but it's got like the white and then the setting powder. And then it's got, these are all matte shades. And then this one right here specifically is so beautiful. So there's the color on my hand. So you can see it's just a very subtle, soft peach. If you guys want me to do swatches of like all of these uh, blushes, then maybe I can do a blog post. Let me know in the comments below. I can put a blog post up sometime next week. Uh, then the next layer is like a really pretty bright kind of like purplies and pinks. Like real just bright, fun, kind of springy summer, summer colors. But the color that I've been loving the most is this beautiful Barbie shimmery pink. It's got a really beautiful um, sheen to it. And I'm just gonna put it on my hand right there so you can see. The, hopefully the light is showing well, but it's got a really nice sheen and it just looks so beautiful on the cheeks. And then the next palette, and then again, like you've got your dark purple, which always reminds me of Cassie. Like they're all kind of pinks and purples. And then you've got your more kind of peachy coral um, one, which I absolutely love. And I am wearing this middle one, wait, yeah, this middle one right here today, which is a really beautiful just peach. Uh, well, technically it's like a coral, I guess. So you can see it right there. But I have it on my cheeks. It's beautiful color. I absolutely love it. These are all really, really pigmented. They blend super duper well. They stay on all day. So if you are someone who loves changing up your blush all the time, but you don't have the mud, the budget to go out and buy like a bunch of MAC blushes or, you know, just like a lot of blushes, then this is a really awesome kit because you get all of your blushes all into one and they're all really beautiful. And there's shimmers, there's mattes, there's dark, there's light. They're also not tested on animals and they are refillable. Okay, and then I also got the, the Shani brush kit, which is super awesome. You get 24 brushes. They're all super duper nice quality brushes. So right here you have like a little pamphlet, which is really cool. And then it's like a little brush roll kit. So if you travel a lot, it's really awesome because it has all of your brushes and then you just kind of roll it up. This is the one that I have been loving this week. Now this is a fan brush and I've been using it for my highlight. I've always wanted one of these brushes. So basically you just apply it just right there for your highlight and it's so easy. It gets everything you need to get without working too hard. It's really, really soft. It's big. It's just awesome. This is the Strivectin Clinical Corrector Anti-Aging Lip Tint in Pink Rose. I have it on today. Uh, it's one of those things that instantly gets rid of all of your lines in your lips. It's supposed to like make your lips look fuller and less wrinkled and big and delightful. It's not a plumper. It's not gonna plump your lips at all and sting, or sorry, it's not a burning plumper, but it is a plumper. It literally makes your lips look big, full, youthful. All of the lines go away. It leaves an amazing gloss. And the color of it is so beautiful. It's just like a squeezy tube here. That's the color right there. So it leaves your lips with like a really, really, like a very soft, natural pink color. It's really beautiful because you can wear it over other colors and you can wear it on bare lips. And either way, it looks amazing. It just looks like 
glass on your lips. It's so beautiful. The only problem that I did find, and my sister tried it as well, it has a really weird taste. Like when you first apply it, you don't notice it, but then after like 10 minutes or so, like in the back of your throat, it has like a real sunscreeny taste. For how it looks on your lips, it's almost worth it. It's not like a real, it's not like that's all you taste. Like I recommend chewing gum while wearing it because you can taste a little hint of it, but I don't think it will kill you. Or at least let's hope not, I haven't died yet. The next thing is the Too Faced Lip Injection Color Balm. This is a moisture plumping lip tint. Now this is a burning lip tint. Uh, it's a plumper and it's a, it's, you know, it's a plumper, it's like a lip crayon that plumps. So this is what it looks like. Really cool because it's got that big huge fat tip. So it's like almost like a lipstick. You can just cover so much of your lips in like two seconds. The color is so beautiful. I have it on right now. So I'm wearing that with the um, Strivectin over and I've been wearing that all week. Love it. Um, so there is the nude, I'm sorry, the color of this one is Never Enough Nude. And it is literally the perfect nude. It's beautiful. It's not too uh, pink. It's not too peach. It's not too nude. It's just the perfect nude. Um, again, I just love how they're just like a crayon. I'm all into crayons because you can wear them alone. You can just put a little bit of gloss over. There's no lip liner involved. It's just quick and easy. And like I said, this is a plumping. It will burn. It does tingle for about five or 10 minutes, but then it's nothing, you, can, you don't feel it after that. And it just kind of like fills in your lips. It lasts really, really long. Um, and it smells like strawberries. Yeah, smells like strawberry milkshake. So love this, absolutely love this color. It's so beautiful. Okay, another lip product has been the Sexy Mother Pucker. I said pucker with a P gloss stick. This is a 3D volume shine uh, and it's called Futuristic. Now I don't actually know who this is by. Oh, Soap and Glory. Just discovered that. This was sent to me from my sweet friend Tiffany from Tiffany Thinks. If you guys haven't checked her out here on YouTube, you should. She's so adorable. I love her. But anyway, she sent me like a little goodie box uh, last week or yeah, I think it was like last week. And uh, this came in it. And it's another lip crayon. You guys know I just love my lip crayons. But this is like a really glossy lip tint. It leaves your, your lips with the most beautiful, natural, like very young and innocent pink. But it leaves them very glossy like, like there's a jello on your lips. It's really glossy. They're so beautiful. It does tint your lips so the, the pink continues to stay on once it's kind of like diminished. Uh, beautiful, beautiful color. Smells like vanilla, just absolutely love this product. So if you uh, haven't tried this out, I definitely recommend it. I just love lip crayons because it's easy, it's quick. I don't have, I don't wanna have to fiddle with five million things, um, love it. Okay, now this I actually got in my Wantable box. And uh, this is the Wet Dry Eyeshadow from Three. It just says Three Custom Color Specialist. I've never actually heard of that brand until I got it in my Wantable box. So this is the color Warm Brown Sugar and the sun is about to stab me. I'm filming at a different time than normal so I apologize. Um, but this is the packaging. So it's like a really pretty gunmetal and it just has the three on the top. And you will have seen this if you watch my Wantable. It's got a little mirror which is always handy. But the color itself, oh this is not going to be good. Sorry the sun is blaring right in my face. Isn't that just, oh that's not good at all. Oh, we're gonna stick it right there. Can you see? So it's just this beautiful warm matte brown. I have it. Oh, you guys aren't even gonna be able to see me. I'm so sorry. I did not expect the sun to be. It's been cloudy all day. That's just typical. Um, I'm wearing it today in my crease. I've been wearing it the last few days. I just kind of take like a big fluffy brush like um, this one. It's the Sigma Diffused Crease E38, which I love by the way. And I just really messily and really quickly just rub it all in my crease, all over my lid. So easy. It's such a beautiful color for the crease, for the whole lid. It really warms up the eyes. If you have blue or green eyes, it's going to look beautiful. And uh, it's very, very blendable. And it's not powdery at all. It like melts into your eyes. It's amazing. Absolutely love this color this color and this formula. It's a beautiful, beautiful shadow. Let me just swatch it real quick. It is a little bit difficult to open for some reason, but there it is on my finger. So you can see, and it has a really pretty sheen. It's not shimmery, it's not sparkly, but it does have a sheen to it. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. So love that. Oh, I've got one more favorite for my hair. It's the uh, T3. I think it's like the one step 
Do I have the box in here? Yes, I do. Woohoo! It's the T3 Single Pass X. Demanding hair meets its match. Oh, that's not what it's called. Well, where's the, the lid? Well, it must just be called the T3 Single Pass. And it's a one and a half inch flat iron. What I love about this is if you have really long, thick hair like I do, sometimes flat ironing can be a real task because it takes forever because the thing is so small. And this is so, it's nice and wide, so it's specifically made for long, coarse, thick, like troublesome hair. So if you do have that really long hair that takes forever, I've been using this uh, every time I've been flat ironing and I love it. It heats up really well. It's this really cool thing. It, it You push it and then it goes do 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 and it lights up for the bars. So if you want it full hotness, you'll light up the bars all the way up here. Or you can like make it a couple bars or three bars. Um, so it's kind of cool. It sings to you as well. It, like makes little noises. Um, it's just a really awesome flat iron. And uh, it's got the little swivel cord too, so you can't get snarled up. But it works really, really well, and it makes your, your flat ironing time way quicker because it does have that little extra half inch on the flat iron to just grab a little bit more hair and just kind of make things speed along. It's all about speeding along in my life because I just feel like time just disappears from me. And then I'm like, whoa, I got a flat on my hair. My fizzles. Number one, I pulled my back out while I was painting yesterday. So I haven't been feeling the greatest today. My back is out. I feel like a twing, twingy, like, oh, pain every time I move a certain way. So kind of, it's kind of been, oh, you know, just not making me feel the best. Um, number two of my fizzle, my hair has gone crazy. Like it has been, ever since I went to Arizona, Something is burning my hand. Oh, it's that plumping stuff. Youch. My hair has been sticky and it's really weird because like normally like when I highlight my hair like a couple weeks for, for like a week or so, like I'll have kind of that sticky like it's been bleached a little bit too much feel, but then it's fine. My hair has, I haven't highlighted my hair for a while now and it was totally fine. I could blow dry it real easy. It was silky. It was smooth. It was feeling good. I went to Arizona. My hair felt real sticky. Like they sprayed a bunch of hairspray in my hair and then after that like my hair hasn't been the same. So I'm wondering if I need to get like a clarifying shampoo and just strip the heck out of it. So that's just not good. So then I went and got like a new shampoo and conditioner because I thought well maybe it's my shampoo and conditioner because I usually normally use my Bain de Terre. So I went and picked up the Paul Mitchell Color Protect Daily Shampoo and Daily Conditioner. I used to use this a long time ago when I used to work at the hair salon and uh, it's just for, it's for color. It's you know if you color your hair because I have got the low lights in my hair right now. Um, it smells nice and everything, but I, I feel like that's made it even worse. Like ever since I started using that, now I feel like extra residue and extra stickiness and I literally cannot blow dry my hair. Like I blow dry it, I can't even brush it. It's like, I mean I brush my hair when it's wet, but once it starts to dry, it feels so damaged and I just like don't get it because it was totally fine before I went to Arizona and then bam it just went crazy so it's been bugging me so if you keep on seeing me wearing these little buns and you're like why is she so lazy why doesn't she do her hair it's because I literally can't like it takes me so long to blow dry it it just feels like I have so much gunk in my hair so I'm gonna maybe try clarify clarifying shampoo bumming me out ladies, it's bumming me out. There's nothing worse than feeling like you can't even blow dry your own hair because it feels like noodles, you know? Okay, and then the last one, now these are my favorite earrings in the world. I've had them forever. I actually got them from a client back when I used to do hair and I think she ordered them off of like QVC or HSN or something like that. Um, they're by Cynthia Garrett, so I don't know which one that is. Love these. They're such beautiful. I always get compliments on them whenever I wear them, but I wore them last night. Me and Jay went on a date, and I got home, and I had a darn ring, like, right where they had been sitting on my skin of, like, brown, black, gray. I don't know what is going on, so maybe I need to, like, give them a good clean, but they've obviously, like, tarnished or something, and they left, like, just literally, I got home, and I was like, whoa, that's attractive. It looks like I've got a crazy beard going on, so... Um, note to self, wash your earrings, um, or you might get a crazy brown mark all over your neck. And my hand is really plumping up right now. It's kind of hurting. It doesn't hurt that much on your lips. It hurts more on the hand than on your lips, by the way. So that's my Sundays and Sizzles and Fizzles this week. I hope that you guys enjoy. I have a haul coming tomorrow with some new goodies that I'm so... I was so excited about like oh my gosh I can't even explain my excitement when I got this stuff so I'm going to be trying those out all this week. I don't have one for my home this week. There's really nothing new so 
sorry about that, but hopefully this is enough for you. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next week. I'll see you in my next week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!